2 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast. I'm T Speaker 222 with the ISO headquarters. I wanted to bring you this uh, this article. It talks about the revolutionizing of the global payment system and e commerce and commerce in general and how we're going to switch from digital to physical and all this other stuff. And this is very important for the ISO. If you're a fan of the ISO implementation, or the structure, the setup, this is a perfect place. If you're new to the channel, I cover all ISO news. We sometimes go over the charts when needed. But for the most part, this is the ISO headquarters. I am XRP Future Millionaire on a partnered page. I started this channel to put further knowledge out for the ISO um, news and the ISO 20022 implementation as we get closer to November 2022 and leading into 2023 and ultimately 2025. It's going to be big news, so you're going to want to be a part of the station. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as we are closing in on 660 subscribers. And also, make sure to turn that bell notification to all so you get all future content. You get notified when it comes out. So why real-time payments will revolutionize global commerce in 2022? We may be witnessing the end of our 1,000-year dependence on paper money. There is now a real alternative, a global infrastructure that provides a digital, real-time equivalent of physical cash, and it's no surprise then that it, this has created a great deal of excitement. In 2020, an ACI Worldwide report found India to be the dominant player in real-time payments, overtaking countries like China, South Korea, the UK, and the US. AK, very interesting for you. The blah blah pandemic led to the seismic led to a seismic shift in India's payments landscapes, up ending long accepted payment behaviors. As social distancing became the norm, contactless pay, payments and their real time nature provided a panacea for payment issues faced by consumers. In 2020, an ACI Worldwide report found India to be the dominant player in real-time payments overtaking countries like China, South Korea, the UK, and the US with 25.5 billion real-time payments transactions. India comfortably outpaced China's 15.7 billion. Interestingly, paper-based payments still accounted for more than 60% of overall payment transaction volumes, indicating the immense displacement and growth opportunity for real-time digital alternatives. And we are already witnessing that displacement in 2021 real-time payments commanded 31% of total transactions up from 16% in 2020. It seems we may be witnessing the end of a thousand year dependence on paper money. There is now a real alternative, a global infrastructure that provides a digital real-time equivalent of physical cash and emulates the ability for people to pay for things instantaneously. It's no surprise that this has created a great deal of excitement. Presently, there is an estimated 40 trillion of narrow money in circulation globally and even greater opportunities if we begin to redefine and redesign the way we pay and get paid. In fact, Morgan Stanley predicts the complete digitization of Indian economy alone could be trillion dollar opportunity. As real-time payments continue to source spurred by the new business and consumer reality, post blah, here are some the trends that we expect will make an impact through 2022. Real-time cross-border payments. As more, of, more and more markets establish domestic real-time payment schemes and adopt ISO 20022 standardization, there's a growing need to extend real-time across borders. There are already cross-border initiatives in place with SCT, INST, and the Asian Payment Network, and we have also seen countries enable cross-border interoperability, such as India with UAE and Singapore. The strong demand for cost-effective and immediate cross-border payments will see it emerge as a critical real-time payments trend worldwide, with all of it built around the common messaging platform for payments information, ISO 20022. Central banking digital, digital currency and their impact. Although CBDCs are still, are still nascent stage, despite more than 80 countries planning to roll out their own digital currency, it will be interesting to see how th they sit alongside existing payment networks. <clears throat> in some cases, or in some ways, CBDCs overlap with real-time payments by allowing real-time tracking settlement and greater visibility of payments. So we can expect to see CBDCs complementing the existing real-time payment infrastructure rails. Real-time payment schemes can also enable CBDC payments by providing an easy and effortless experience for consumers and businesses. The ability of real-time payments to rapidly integrate and adapt any new digital currency or form of payment technology can also help spur further innovation. Ultimately, as CBDCs establish themselves, how existing and future legislation plays out will have the most significant impact on success and adoption. <coughs> Explosion of form factors and frictionless payment experience. We have seen the payment acceptance infrastructure evolve post-pandemic, and that will continue to lead payment innovation. New modes of payment will continue mainstream through 2022. In terms of use cases, request to pay RT, 
R2P will emerge as a critical real-time payment solution in 2022 and beyond, with Asia and the U.S. already live with requests to pay. And with the U.K., Europe, and Middle East planning to launch initiatives in 2022, we expect both payments and corporate and government collections increasingly move to request. Real-time payments move from P2P to C2B and B2B, with base adoption achieved through P2P, peer-to-peer. In most markets, the ecosystem will promote functionality functional capabilities and use cases to drive C2B, consumers to business and business to business, payments, requests to pay, QR payments and direct debit are being enabled across most of the real-time payment networks. The majority of B2B bit payments still involve paper checks and physical invoices, which were severely disrupted due to the pandemic with the arrival of solutions like R2P. The transition to digital has already begun. Corporates can collect funds from either from other corporates using R2P, vastly improving cash flow while solving existing existing reconciliation challenges. With R2P, corporates or suppliers send a digital invoice. This request is sent through their corporate banking channel, web portal mobile app, or other form factors. The reconciliation is then automatic as the transaction ID accompanies the transaction throughout its journey. Increasing shifts towards payments as a service PAAS or software as a service SAAS, blah, has forced many businesses to become much leaner and efficient and to do a lot with a lot less. The move to digital in real time has seen bank and financial institutions, BNIS, set out to future-proof their underlining payment tech infrastructure while simultaneously reducing total costs of ownership, TCO. As they migrate to, to, I, to the cloud, cloud-based modernization and redesign creates the environment for huge cost savings and efficiencies combined with heightened customer service and experience. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button. Consider joining my Swing Traders Anonymous and or my XRP Future Millionaire page. They're both in the video description below.